of Styles of the Strange and Exotic Random Goody Haul as I sort of hoarded some stuff from the will. And today, which is as I'm filming it, the day after Halloween, as I was out about doing other stuff, went to the mall hoping to hoard some Halloween, post-Halloween stuff. Even Spirit Halloween is starting to box their stuff up for next year. So I, ha I grabbed what I could from there at half off. But I couldn't find any other, like, post-Halloween goodies. And it's like, what the f This is why I'm beginning to really hate Christmas. So. On the top of the pile, I got at the will today. This just... I wasn't quite sure what this is. But I just like the idea. And it goes, A hundred gathered thoughts from my beautiful child and papers for brilliant ideas and laundry lists. And it's... I guess it's a pad of paper, I don't know. It's sugar sugar boo designs. It's obviously a buck. So I got it for a dollar. It goes each stub has its uh, huh. Each stub has its own lovely message. Tear off and scatter into the world. Okay, it's a pad of paper. Oh okay. As you can tell there's like a, a little hole here. It goes, each stub has its own lovely message. Tear off and scatter into the world as you please. Tuck one under a pillow or inside a lunchbox. Throw one on a dashboard or sneak it into a pocket. String onto a gift or hide inside a book. Roll it up and float it out to sea. Anything is possible. Anything can be. So it's... Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. It's a pad of paper, which is good because I kind of needed some paper. It's kind of steampunk looking. Huh. And it's, it's even, um, you've got a place for the date, and then it has number 17 of 100, so apparently there's 100 pages in here. No? There's more than 100 pages. That makes no sense. 6,400? Okay, okay. <laughs> I can't read numbers. Uh, and they're just random statements. On page number 53, try to make at least one person happy every day. If you cannot do a kind deed, speak a kind word. If you cannot speak a kind word, think a kind thought. Count up, if you can, the treasure of happiness that you would dispense in a week, in a year, in a lifetime. By Lawrence G. Levasic. Hmm. Let us rise up and be thankful. For if we didn't learn a lot today, at least we learned a little. And if we didn't learn a little, at least we didn't get sick. And if we didn't get sick, oh, and if we got sick, at least we didn't die. Let us all be thankful. The Buddha. <laughs> that was always one way to look at things. Buddha apparently was the optimi optimi optimal optimist. Uh, let's see. It is important to expect nothing, to take every experience, including the negative ones, as merely steps on the path, and to proceed. Ram Dass. That's kind of cool. I just like the idea. Hmm. For a buck? Hey, wisdom of Buddha for a dollar. Okay, and the next thing I got, which is really hard to find pairs of these, so I found a pair for a buck a piece, and they're just cute little golden, even though they're kind of rusted, little candle holders. So that's kind of cool. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them. They seem a little small, but. I guess it's about right. They just maybe make candles strangely now. I don't know. But for a buck a piece, and they make a nice sound. I couldn't resist. <laughs> okay. Okay. And the next on the pile, I actually wasn't quite sure what he'd charge me, but it was on the t-shirt rack, and I got it for two bucks, but it's a freaking awesome... Um... Those thingies. What'd they call them? <laughs> Jersey. And it's nice and thick, too. I mean, it's a polyester jersey that, of course, is my favorite colors. And it's voodoo. Though it would have been cooler if it was, like, 88. So, or three. <laughs> and it's really comfy, so I'm like, yay! And it came from IntensityAthletics.com. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm Umpty Voodoo. <laughs> and Giant 21 on the back. I think Ricky Rudd was 21. So that was awesome. And I wore it, like, the next day. I'm like, I can't wait. <laughs> Bloop. Uh, let's see. And the next thing on the pile. 
I just sort of randomly looked at the CDs, which I rarely ever do because I just don't think about it. And I scored thrice over on this. And I would have scored four, but I'm pretty sure I had the CD already and I bought it there. And it came with the book. This one didn't. So the first on the pile is Cats, which isn't the original cast recording, I don't think. Nope, the uh, nope, complete original Broadway cast recording, but it has people that I'm not familiar with. Because uh, Elaine Page was Grizabella, and I like her better than the chick that does it here. So it's, it's a little strange, because I'm used to the version that was on the actual DVD. Really cool, watch it. So, I know I have this on cassette, so I have it on CD now! Hooray! So, yep, and it came as a two-disc two set, and I think... It was two bucks. <laughs> so, hurrah. The next one I got wasn't even opened. And I had finished reading the book, so you should have the review up by the time you see this. So I'm like, okay, let's see what the music was. I know I've heard like a couple of songs, and I kind of liked them. I found that unopened. And of course, um, Popular and uh, Define Gravity are still my favorites. The other ones are okay. K kind of very reminiscent of the uh, of the book. It's like certain things you're like, well, they had to change for the play. Uh, so I was happy for two bucks an unopened thingy of wicked original Broadway cast recording. I don't know if that's still being you know if it's still on Broadway or not. Blah blah me. Yeah, no one mourns the wicked, dear old shiz, sentimental man, not that girl, March of the Witch Hunters. So, pretty good. The next thing surprised me, so I've yet to kind of listen to it all the way through. Now, I picked it up, and I had seen a Nostalgia Critics review of Moulin Rouge, and that just, like, I liked the music and the clips that he had, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll pick it up for two bucks. So it's the, the original cast recording of Moulin Rouge. So she opens it, and I didn't think anything of it, and a disc falls out. So we figured, okay, it's a two-disc set. Not technically. Apparently, they put the DVD in here. <laughs> so I got the DVD and the original cast recording for the same price. I don't know why, but it's obviously not supposed to be in here. <laughs> and we're kind of looking like, what? It's like, okay, two for the price of one. So I get to watch the <laughs> movie as well. But yes, Obi-Wan and Lederhosen. But Nature Boy by David Bowie is really impressive. You, It's just not a song you would associate, or at least the style, with David Bowie. But it's really, really good. And of course, Lady Marmalade and all this stuff, so... Bonus points on that one. And the next thing on the pile. As I went to the mall, I kind of went there first, and it was like, used DVDs, but I was like, intimidated. <laughs> I'm trying to find 2010. So, kind of did things, one came back, and I came away with this. And they had one, the Civil War thing, that I think I just bought from Amazon for like half the price. So I picked this up for three ninety seven, and it was ten bucks originally. Civil War: America Divided, a breathtaking ten part journey into the bloody sword in history. So we'll see if this is any good. I mean, the bar that I use any Civil War do documentaries, obviously Ken Burns, and I've yet to see anything top that. So mm, we'll see how how the quality is. Bonus features include historic Civil War photo slideshow. Eight hours, so cool. Next thing I got for four, well, for five dollars, was eleven documentary collection of World War Two. Um, December seventh, the day of oh, living infamy. World War Two: Waking the Sleeping, <laughs> Waking the Sleeping Giant is a comprehensive documentary of one of the world's deadliest wars. So you got the trial at Nuremberg, the general Pearl Harbor. So it's basically America's sort of thing. And this is 8 hours and 47 minutes. 
And the last thing I got, I was kind of rifling through. I wasn't quite sure I saw it, so I kind of backtracked. I picked up. No, it's more like this, right? Now, I have the Alien series, and I have Aliens vs. Predator. Yes, I liked it. Shut up. But I couldn't get my hands on the Predator itself. So, yes, I get to watch the Predator. I, 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 I think I'm more Team Predator than Team Alien. They're just, there's just something cool about Predator. And it comes with a shit ton of special features. Two discs worth, apparently. And this was 15 bucks originally, and I got it for 5 bucks. Uh, let's see. Full screen edition. You get the full length commentary. Uh, text commentary. Hmm. <laughs> Sneak peek of Aliens vs. Predator. Uh, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Behind the scenes featurettes. Ooh. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a Predator 2. But I don't know if there's a Predator 3. If you guys know what Predator movies are out, do tell, because I'd like to get my hands on them. And I think I have all of the aliens. I got one, three, one through three. Um, the one that wasn't worth watching, uh, which came on the set. And then Aliens vs. Predator. So I think I've got, got them all. So I'm looking for the Predator versions now. So... So, the last bit on the pile is what I managed to hoard from Spirit Halloween. And I was like, I want one of everything. They had, like, a jersey that had, like, Deadpool. But they didn't have it there. It was gone already. I'm like, oh. And they had, like, a Harley Quinn t-shirt type of thing I kind of would have liked. But it's something you could kind of do yourself. And it was like, ooh. It's like when you want to, like, go dress shopping. And Hot Topic had squat, too, for, like, Halloween stuff. But then Hot Topic's kind of like us. It's Halloween all year round. <laughs> so, wasn't too terribly surprised. So this is what I picked up at Spirit Halloween. Ha. Now, this I picked up, and I love these things. I had one a couple of years ago. I almost kind of wish I picked up the other set. It's a pair of bleeding candles. So, I wasn't quite sure if I should use them last night. That These type of things it would be too, too macabre. I don't know, but these are cool nonetheless. So, yay. This is awesome. And I picked up some spirit gum and spirit gum remover, which is kind of cool because I picked up that. <laughs> this just caught me on awesome alone. And this was what? Three bucks. And this was a uh, two bucks. So I, again, I, I, I actually plan on having it as a third eye. So. We'll see how, how my skills go. They only had a green eye, which is kind of sucky. I wish my eyes were that color. I just have puke hazel. You know, if this works, maybe I won't have to have glasses. <laughs> so, that was freaking cool. And I got that, and it was neat that it came with a spirit gum remover. And I'll have to look and see what you can get uh, Liquid Lake Tex off with. I've watched Pink Stylist enough, you'd think I'd know this offhand, but, but I got that last time. But I thought that would be useful. And I picked up some scar putty. So I thought that would be kind of useful as well. In watching all these people, I do I have at least a base of reference to use. So it's like a plethora of <laughs> so many things I can do. Uh, before you begin, read instructions carefully. Throw a flat, study where the work well. Slip on any clothing. That makes sense. Okay, sure. To protect your clothing, blah, 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 sure. Ah, so, yay. And the last thing I got, I just thought would be kind of useful. I was kind of hoping to find some, like, the makeup that, like, pink stylists use. It's sort of activated by water and or alcohol. But of course, they didn't have anything like that, because what my sister was using for my brother was, like, pretty much just if you ground up a piece of chalk, it was just... A typical cheapo Halloween makeup and I was kind of hoping to go the next step up so I found this and it's the injury stack so I have quite a few ideas so I, I can do quite a lot with this stuff bless you stack bless bless you so I guess injury in French is bless you huh. and I like the fact that it goes do not use dark red red or purple and around the eye areas so apparently it'll stain and you'll look like you've been <laughs> injured in your life. So, hmm. And I think I have fake blood floating around somewhere. That's something I can pick up anywhere. 
so I have a lot of fun prepared for the coming year, for the coming years. So, we have reached the end of the pile, and I don't know if I'm going to split this into two, maybe. So, thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at The Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye.